In order to grab attention in your Shopify store, one section that you must add to your homepage is a slideshow. On Shopify, you can add a slideshow section to your theme to display a carousel of up to five images on your page. You can even have your slideshow auto-rotate, which provides a great visual effect. Adding a slideshow is an excellent way to grab customers' attention and show off various sections of your store. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add a slideshow to your homepage. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. This should take you to your Shopify account dashboard. To customize your theme, let's start by clicking the online store tab from the menu on the left hand side. This should take you to the Shopify themes menu. For this demonstration, I'll be using the popular Dawn theme. So to customize my theme, let's look at the bottom right hand side here and click the customize button. This will take you over to the Shopify theme editor. From the menu on the left, go to the template section and scroll all the way down till you get to the add section tab. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can view all the sections that you can add to your theme. Go ahead and browse through the list and find and select the slideshow tab. The slideshow section should now be added to your menu on the left and you should see a preview of the slideshow on the right. So first, let's start by customizing my slideshow layout. To do this, let's go to the menu on the left and click the slideshow main tab. Here's where you can customize the style of your slideshow. At the top here, you can select the layout of your slideshow. You can select between full width and grid. And for my slideshow, I think I'll go with grid. In the next section, you can use the drop down menu here to select your slide height. You can select either small, medium, large, or simply have it adjust to the first image. You can also select to show dots, a counter, or numbers for the slides in your slideshow. And if you want your slides to auto rotate, you can select the checkbox here. You can then use the slider bar here to select how many seconds you want each slide to be displayed. I want my slides to move fast, so let's move it down to three seconds. Next, you also have the option to add an animation to your slots. From the image behavior section, you can select the option here to add ambient movement to each slot. This is a cool effect that can really be attention grabbing. If you like, feel free to check out the other options here, but once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button and let's head back to the theme editor main menu. So we've gone over how to customize the slideshow section. Now let's go over how to add our images. From the slideshow dropdown menu, You'll see several tabs here that's labeled image slot. Each tab will represent a different image in your slot. And if you wanted to add more images, you can click the add slot tab at the bottom here. For your slideshow, you can have up to five images. So let's click the first image slot tab here and add my first image. For my slideshow images, I'm going to be uploading images with the dimensions of 1600 by 1050 pixels. So to add my first image, let's go up to the image section up top here and click the select image button in the center. This will open up a menu where you can view all the images that you've uploaded to Shopify and where you can upload new images as well. To upload my image, let's click the add images button in the center here. You can then find and open up the image that you wanna use for your slot. If you like, feel free to go ahead and upload the other slides you'll be using as well. Once everything finishes uploading, make sure you select the image that you wanna use for your first slot, then click the done button at the bottom right and your first image should now be added to your slideshow. Once you add your image, you can then move down and add a heading for your slot. For my slideshow, I'm gonna have each slide send the customers to a different collection. So for my first heading, let's type in home and living. You can also adjust your heading size if you like. And underneath this, you can add a subheading. For your subheading, feel free to type in whatever you want. But if you're having trouble coming up with something, you can also use the Shopify AI tool to help you generate your text. From the toolbar at the top, if you click the generative text icon on the far left, it'll open up a menu where you can use the AI tool to help you write your subheading. In the text field up top here, simply describe whatever you want the AI to write for you. And using the drop down menu at the bottom, you can select the tone of your text. For this example, I think I'll select daring. Once you're finished, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom. And a few seconds later, the AI will provide you with several suggestions that you can select from. Go ahead and read over the various subheadings and select the one that you like best. Once you make a selection, it'll be added to your slideshow. 
So let's see what the AI came up with. It says, transform your home into a sanctuary of style and comfort. I think that'll work great for my home and living collection. Keep in mind, you can still edit the subheading any way you wish from the text field on the left here. Now that I've added my subheading, let's move to the next section here and add my button label. For my button, I'm going to keep things simple and just type in view more. Once you add your button label, you can then move down and add your button link. In the field here, you can either paste in a link or click the field to open up a menu where you can view all the different pages of your store. Since I want each slide to represent a different collection, let's click the collections tab. From here, I can select a link to all of my collections or select an individual collection. For this slot, let's select my home and living collection. There we go. Now whenever a customer clicks my button, they'll be taken directly to my home and living collection. If you like, you can also edit your content position, your color scheme, your overlay, or any of the other settings here. But once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button up top and head back to the theme editor main menu. Now that you've customized your first slot, let's go back to the slide show drop down menu and click the second tab to add your second slot. Go ahead and go through the same process to add your image, your heading, your subheading, your button label, and your button link. And once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. So my slideshow now has two slots, but honestly, I'm not really filling these images. So to change your image, go back to the slot that you want to change and click the change drop down menu in the image section. From here, let's click the select from library option, then find and open up the new image that I want to use. Once you add your image, go ahead and select it, then click the done button at the bottom right. I think that image looks much better. So let's go back to the theme editor main menu. So my slideshow currently has two slots, but you can actually have up to five slides in your slideshow. If you want to add a new slot, simply go to the add slot tab from the slideshow drop down menu here. When you click this, you'll notice a new image slot tab added to the drop down menu. To customize your additional slots, simply go through the same process that we did before. And for my store, my slideshow now has three different slots, each one sending a customer to a different collection. If you wanted to rearrange your slideshow on your homepage, simply go to the slideshow tab and use the icon on the far right here to drag it to wherever you want. I think I'll move my slideshow towards the top of my homepage. And there we go. I think that's a much better position. So once you've finished customizing your slideshow, make sure you go up to the icons up top here to see how it looks on each device. You may notice things look a bit different on mobile, so go ahead and check everything out and make sure you don't need any changes. But if everything looks good, go ahead and go up to the top right and click the save button. And my new slideshow has been saved. Now when shoppers visit my online store, they can use my slideshow to easily view and go to my collections. So that's a quick overview of how to add a slideshow to your Shopify homepage. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Shopify Don theme customization tutorial, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.